Hi friends, my name is Akhil Ahmed and in this particular video tutorial we will see how to check if current date file exists using SSIS. So the agenda of today's video tutorial is how to check if today's file exists in SSIS. So let's jump to the demo. I got this location D files location and in this particular location I want to check if a current date file exists or not. So the file name can be something like customer underscore current date 2023 03 okay so this is the file so i just want to check if a file exists at this particular location with this date and name or not okay so if file exists then maybe i can do one task and if file does not exist then maybe i can do another task okay so this is kind of thing that i want to do and here the thing is that after the name of the file customer underscore the date is in a particular format like yyyy mmdd so in case if your date is in some another format like you got the file in the mmdd yyyy format or if the date is in some another format then you can also do the same thing easily using this particular method and i will tell you like what change you need to do okay so let's see how we can do that in ssis package so this is my blank ssis package that i will be using today so I will declare two SSIS variables here. The first variable that I will declare is is file exist. Okay, and it will be of type boolean. So if file will exist, then it will have the value as true. And if file won't exist, then it will have the value as false. Now the second variable that I will declare is the folder path. So I will just give the current folder path to the value of this variable. So that in case if you want to check the variable at different path, then you can check that. So let me change the data type to a string and I can paste the path here. The path is D files. So I have declared two variables here. So we will use the script task to check if a file exists or not and as of now this is the only method to check if a file exists or not. So I will share the script with you so that in case if you want to do the same thing in your SSIS package then you can do that. So let me configure the script task. From the read only variable I will select the folder path SSIS variable because I want to get the folder path from here. And in the read write variable, I will select the is file exist. Okay. And maybe I can copy the name of these particular variables from here. And uh, I can click on edit script so that the script editor window can be opened for us. So the script editor window has been opened up. Another variable was is file exist. Okay. So let me declare a variable here with the name file name. And the file name will be something like customer underscore. And now we need to provide the current date time. So I want to get the current date time in the yyyy mmdd format. So I can copy this query from here. I can paste it here. So this will append the current date time plus dot csv. Okay. So this is the name of the file. And I will declare another variable and I will call it as full file path. And full file path will come from the dts dot variables. And the folder path is this one. I can copy this one. Folder path dot value uh, dot to string. So this will get the folder path. Then I will use the two backslash here plus, and then we will append the file name. So this will have the full file path. Now we need to use the system dot io class. Uh, so I can just add the namespace here using system dot io. Okay, and then I can write a condition if file dot exist and then I need to provide the full file path. So if file will exist then we can use the two curly braces and we can write another else condition if file won't exist for that case. Okay. So if the file will exist then you will set the value as true for the is file exist variable. So I can declare a bool variable is file exist and it will be of type bool. Okay. So now what we will do if file exists then we will set the is file path to true. Okay, and if file won't exist, then it will come inside the else condition, and then we will set the is file exist to false. Okay, so that's the only change. So this is just few lines of code, and it will do its work, and it will check if a file exists or not. Now suppose uh, you know if the file is in different format, then we just need to make a, another change, and I will tell you in a bit. So right now let's check it uh, using the current file path. Okay. So let me uh, click on file exit and I can click on OK. Now what I can do, I can use two data flow task here and I won't write any code in the data flow task. I will just write like um, file exist and I will call another one as file does not exist. Okay. Now what we will do if file exists, then this task should be executed 
and if file does not exist then the another task this should be executed okay so this is how it should work so what we can do we can write a condition here click edit and expression and constants and from here we can write the condition if file exist equal to true okay so if file will exist so if the value of the is file exists will be true then the this task will be executed i can click on okay and the second condition will be expression and constants and we will write like is file exist equal to false then this task will be executed okay so i can click on okay so now i written the condition here it should be like does so maybe i can execute the package and right now the first task should be executed like file exist because we have a file with that particular name okay so the another task got executed and now i got it like why it got executed the thing is actually we have not assigned the value to the is file exist ssis variable okay we need to assign the value back to that particular variable so let me fix that code and then we can test it again all right so in the end we need to assign the value to the variable dts dot variables okay and the variable name is this one is file exist dot value equal to and the value will come from this variable okay so that's the only change that we need to do now i can click on file exit okay now let me rerun the ssis package and this time the first task should execute it because the file exists at this particular location okay now let me do some change in the file suppose if i change the name of the file so if i change to 25 okay then the file should not exist right because the we don't have a file with the current date time so let me execute the package again so now you can see that it is saying that file does not exist so in this particular example we checked if the date is in the yyyy mmdd format now in case if your date is in some another format like if the date is in dd mm yyyy or if the date is in the mmdd yyyy format then you can easily uh, google it like how to get the date in a particular format using c sharp and you should get the code like how i got it here okay and even though if the file will be in some another format like uh, yyyy underscore mm underscore dd okay something like this then still you can get the day easily like date time dot now dot day so you can get the day name uh, date time dot now dot month so you can get the month name and using the date time dot now dot year you can get the year name okay so using these particular properties you can easily get all these details and you can concatenate the date according to your choice okay so i think that should be easy and still if you face the issue while uh, getting the date in a particular format then you can comment on this video and i will try to provide the code like how to get the date in a particular format and then you can easily check if a file exists in the folder using ssis or not so i think that's it for today's video and i will share the code that i used here in today's video and you can download the code from the link in the description of the video thank you guys for watching the video and if you like the video then please click the like button do subscribe to our channel press the bell icon and click on all so that you will be notified every time i upload a new video thank you so much